Hey all you big cat rescuers out there. We were just live on the Dodo Impact and I was driving away because I thought okay these cats are not gonna play with their toys and just as I came around the corner there was Cameron getting up on his platform so I thought maybe just maybe he might consider coming down and playing. You know how cats are it's got to be on their timing. Came around to the other side here so I could see Zabu's face because she was turned away from me when I was on the back side of the cage. Goodness! Look at that mouthful of teeth. Hey Matthew Barbario. Hey Aaron. Deb, I don't know why, but every time you join, I get like this big flash of flowers, <laughs> which is lovely. Hey, Carol. I apologize. It's, there's like little gnats everywhere. Keep whacking away at them. There is a rainstorm coming. Thank you, ladies. One last chance, Cameron, to do something outrageous. Or even roar. Roaring would be nice. Hello, Francis. Doesn't look like he's going to play or to. Lori, thank you for that donation. The Texas Tigers were all right next door thinking we would play with those toys. But Amanda was there, so I'm not sure. Very close. There goes Bill the Heron. What did you guys think of that? Thing. Are you coming over here? Oh, there's sneaky Amanda. I'm going to pretend I'm not watching you. I've got the camera behind my back here. Just glancing over my shoulder to see if I can... If I lose focus on her, I can't read the comments right now because I'm having to turn my face away. Here comes her brother. Or I thought he was coming over. Arthur! Andre! What is it, brothers? Amanda's so pretty. We never get to see her. She's kind of a cranky cat. Uh, we're not getting any rain right now, but it looks like any minute it's really going to come down. And I'm on my bike. Oh man, I forgot I'm on my bike. Great. Amanda, they love you. They've donated $70 to you so far. And lots of hearts and likes. So, oh, thank you. Oh man, I cannot say that name. Andres, for the donation. Um, how did you guys spend World Cat Day? I just found out today it was World Cat Day. I don't know how I missed that. I'm walking away, Amanda. I'm leaving the area. I'm leaving the building. Is that okay with you? You can hear all the thunder over there. In fact, you can see the rain. <laughs> Donna, we do love Amanda. 
she just can't help it if she's cranky. She's busy protecting her brothers. Thank you, was that Rosemary? Ah, ah, Rosemary, thank you so much for the donation. I just know the minute I get all the way on the other end of the property, Cameron's going to roar. <laughs> I'm going to miss it. And <clears throat> I think that we're going to miss it. Thank you everybody from Explore and all of our regulars who joined us over at the Dodo Impact just now. It really helps when all of you guys are over there posting the links and answering questions because there's a lot of people there that don't know anything about us. I can tell from the things they say. So it really helps when there are people in the audience like you who can help give them links and answers. Is this Miss Artemis? Hi. Hey, Artemis. Oh, hissy. So hissy. Where's your brothers? So, Karen, was it International Cat Day or World Cat Day? I was putting World Cat Day on everything, but maybe I did it wrong. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate the donation. I'm pretty sure that it'll be recorded over at the dodo. A lot of times when people go to the dodo, they tell me they can't see the, the live feeds that we just did, but that's because they like to pin things on their wall. And when you pin something at the top of your wall, it, a lot of times people think that's the most recent thing, even when it's not. So you might have to scroll down past whatever was pinned. It starts out with Cameron and Zabu. So you will recognize your friends there, I am sure. I'd ride around and see if I can find anybody handing out evening meds. It's almost six o'clock, so it seems like somebody would be doing that. Although I did see Devin feeding some cats, so that might have already been done. Yeah, snow leopards are pretty amazing animals. We've had three snow leopards here over the years, but they've been gone for a long time now. There's a prize! What'd you say? What did you say to everybody? Yeah? 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 Oh, she's a good girl. She's so pretty. She's pretty Riza. She's had us a little worried because she's been fussy about when she eats. She's been wanting to eat in the evening instead of in the morning. Don't really know why. She doesn't have any new neighbors. And she hangs out underneath this hill all day. There's a big concrete den under there. It's 8 feet by 12 feet. And it's cool in there. So I can understand her wanting to be in there but it's just had everybody a little bit worried. So the vet came out a couple days ago to see her. Came out on Monday. When was that? Yesterday? <laughs> I am losing track of time for sure. Oh my gosh, you guys are up to $182. Uh, for those of you who are donating, and if I miss your name, I'm very, very sorry. I hope others here will see your donation and thank you on our behalf because we all really appreciate it. I love her little squeak too. It's just a cute little squeak. It's the cutest little squeak in the world. Hey, Beth. Andrew says my signal's breaking up. It's probably because of <laughs> this storm <laughs> that is hiding all of the satellites. I'm running out of battery, too. I don't know if that exacerbates the problem. just saw a bunch of hearts again. What was that? Well, today, it's a great way to help cats on International Cat Day or World Cat Day, whichever it was. Because 
they're all cats, don't belong in cages, and the Big Cat Public Safety Act would ban the private possession of these guys and stop the cub petting schemes. And you can help us do that over at BigCatAct.com. BigCatAct.com. I am not seeing a cat anywhere. Not even Tonga, who's usually always out. see Keith again first. He's right up front here. Gregory, thank you for the donation. All of you who have been making Big Cat Rescue the beneficiary of your birthday fundraisers and your anniversary fundraisers, oh my gosh, that has added up to like over $45,000 so far this year. You guys are amazing. Hi. Hey, Kelly again. Is it okay if we come see you? Can we see you through the spider webs? If I can get a good angle on him because <laughs> of the plants. Maria, thank you for the donation. This is Gilligan. He's a Canada lynx. There's mosquitoes all buzzing around you. His nose looks fine, but one of the things that we sometimes see in our cats, and it seems to only be the African cats, mostly the servals and caracals, um, sometimes the leopards, is that when the mosquitoes are bad, they don't seem to be able to bite through the fur, but they bite the cats on their noses, and I keep accidentally brushing away the comments. When they bite them on the nose, then it gets all irritated, and they have to be on medication for it. <clears throat> so I guess the good news is that they're not being bitten all over like I am. <laughs> I'm being bitten like crazy. Maybe I shouldn't shave. Hey Nala. Oh, she's a pretty girl. Hello. Hello, Missy. I know. Turbos are just so hissy. Barb, thank you for thanking everybody for making the call of the wild at bigcatact.com. See the interns are picking up their kittens for the night. We have a partnership with the Humane Society of Tampa Bay and we foster domestic cat kittens. Can you guys see the little spotted bud up there? <laughs> That's Ariel. Oh, you know what? I'm probably getting into a dead zone here though. I might lose you. I apologize if I do. Thought you might want to see Sue and Lakota. We don't see them very often. They got a ball pit just like the biscuits did. And if you guys haven't seen that video yet, we posted it on Facebook and on YouTube. And it is so much fun. Got all the bobcat, bobcats jumping in a pool full of colored paper towel tubes, just having a ball. Hello. Is this my pretty Sue? I think so. You and Lakota look so much alike, I have a hard time telling. Wow, you guys have raised $322. 
Uh, she does not need a Kularu. She has one. And so does Lakota. See, when Lakota have their own, each one has their own. Actually, all of the smaller cats, I think, now have Kularus. Oh, Cooper. Yeah, I don't think he has one. Today we worked with a, a I started to say a film crew, it's not really a film crew, it's a webcam construction crew. Thank you, Jessica, for the donation. And they are putting in infrared lights so that the lights won't bother the cats, but you guys will be able to see some of the cats in the dark. One of them is going to be on Cooper, the baby bobcat who is in rehab. And one will be on Tiger Lake, so you can see Andy and Seth at night. I'm not sure. Oh, and the fourth one, I think, is going over to Nikita Lion. So, they got here about 1.30 today. And it took me about a half an hour to find the infrared lights because they came back in May. <laughs> We've been waiting since May <laughs> to get these things installed. And then once they had them, apparently they didn't have all the right connectors and stuff that they needed, so they needed to go to the store. And they said they would configure some of that stuff tonight, and then they'll be back in the morning at 7.30 in the morning to get those hooked up. So you guys will get be able to see the cats longer without bothering the cats any, because apparently infrared light does not not bother them. Was that like a hiss and a stretch? It was not very convincing. Nope, not very convincing. I'm getting battery warnings again. So that's the, the pool full of the paper towel or the toilet paper rolls. Let's look around and see if we can see Lakota in here anywhere. Where's Lakota? Lakota Bobcat. They blend in with their environment so much. There he is. Hi, son. There's their Kularoos over there. Were you wondering what I was doing? Yeah. Could you jump in the pool and show everybody how much fun that is? Cosmic Queen, I am sorry that the sound is low for you. I'm going to get my face torn off here. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you hoofing at me? Are you warning me? Listen to those nails. Thank you, Patricia. Wow, you guys are up to $432 for these cats. Thank you so much. Hey, that'll buy some tuna, huh? Mm-hmm. Love those tuna sickles. Thank you, Cindy. See an angle on you where I don't have so much sun glaring back at us. <laughs> He's like mm, too close. I'm leaving. So there you can kind of see how their cages are joined together with those little tunnels. And then he's going over there where Sue is. And then they have another tunnel. Oh, man. <clears throat> Tripped. <laughs> There's a perfect example of this. So I'm standing in Anasazi and at the end of Anasazi and Will's cage. And then you can see way down there, there's a guillotine door they go through. And then up, way up there, is Anasazi. Sue and Lakota are just adorable. I am, I agree with you fully. King Tut. Hi. Look at you up there. Thank you, Cynthia. King Tut is a savanna cat. 
and he has had a lot of neurologic neurological issues. The vet just came to check on him yesterday. He thinks he's doing pretty good though. Nabisco's using that tunnel to breeze out his belly. Say, oh, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. It's just terrible hot. <laughs> Hello, precious. You better step back or you're gonna smack the camera, aren't you? He's just gonna smack it. Love the little tail. Twitchy, twitchy tail. Cats really like these tunnels because of the airflow. Where's Mrs. Claus? There she is. Hey, Timothy. She's in the barrel. What you doing in the barrel? It would actually be better if you stayed in the barrel. They don't trust you. Oh, <laughs> she went after some squirrels. You missed them. They got away. It's 83 degrees, so it's about 10 degrees less than it has been. It's been ridiculously hot. <clears throat> that sound that you're hearing right now is a, a uh, squirrel haunting her that she missed. And you miss me, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Is she chattering back to him? Can you imitate a squirrel? You're pretty good. Pretty good squirrel imitator. everyone. Well, thank you so much for joining us here and on the Dodo. Thank you for all your love and your shares and your hearts and your answers to others. And thank you for being such a wonderful community of people that all play together nicely. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Hope you had an excellent World Cat Day. If you haven't done it yet, please go to bigcatapp.com and make the call of the wild.